Good afternoon. April 11th, 3.15, markets are closed. And some days you just gotta laugh. I mean, this is kind of one of those days where we should just didn't even get out of bed. We're not expecting too much today. CPI is tomorrow. It's a big one. Fed's data dependent, so if it comes in cool, uh, we might have a big up day to start. Um, let's see. So today we did the classic. Um, if you guys watch futures right before the market opened, uh, five minutes, about uh, seven minutes out, S and P rallied from forty one thirty three up to forty one forty. 4141. Uh, oh, no, I'm wrong. 4135 up to 4142. And right when the bell rang, dumped it right back to where it started. I've seen it do this a thousand times. And they're just toying with you. They're just toying with retail. Hey, are we actually going to pump this into the open? Nope. Sold it. And then uh, slowly got weaker. Made the uh, 945 low and then trended up basically the rest of the day up until about 145 and then you saw one little sell program rallied back to highs and then another sell program which right when it broke the previous low around 4145 then it was a full on liquidation another 10 points down uh, puts were being pot right around 4150 hedged out a few days um, so people could uh, hedge going into the CPI report and then, of course, that, uh, you know, market makers, when people buy puts, the uh, market makers need to uh, cover that position. So they turned into sellers late. Um, let's see. We basically started right where we uh, ended, right where we started. Shocker. Absolute shocker. Today was a whole big nothing burger. Tomorrow should be fun, though. Should be fun should be fun. I want to talk about uh, the VIX. I feel like we don't talk about this a lot, mostly because I think it uh, no longer, I've said this a couple of weeks ago, it no longer has a true correlation with markets and hedging and fear. Everything's so efficient now. And OTD, o zero data, ODTE, zero data expiration options in S&P and all the other index funds uh, basically like crushed volatility forever I think and now the new kind of area of support for the VIX is this 18 number I think people have forgotten that this thing used to sit around 10 to 14 bucks like consistently always the low teens Occasionally, it'd break down into the into the nines and then kind of pop back up. But right now, our new normal is every time it gets around eighteen, it kind of ramps back up. People start hedging. I mean, it's also a product of the fact that we've been in the same range for about a year, so it's definitely a product of that. But I do think. I think do you think the market's so dyna so efficient and dynamic now and everything's so uh core or so structured to follow these rules, these algos just following all these rules. If this thing breaks down under eighteen and it goes to like fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, we could see a serious spike in uh the S and P, like a serious spike. And I think if it does this, I I give it twenty five percent chance of doing it. So I'm not I'm not telling you this is gonna happen. But if it gets that back down there, all the algorithms like get confused, <laughs> and they're gonna have to dump it even harder and buy a shit ton of futures. And what could potentially add to that 
craziness is there's currently a record long short position in S&P futures going into CPI. Um, what that means is, uh, you know, if we don't, s two things. One, CPI comes in cool and the market responds positively, then most of those most of those have to chase most of those shorts have to start chasing and covering which could set up a hundred point squeeze in the s p we haven't had a hundred point move in a while i wouldn't be too surprised if it happened the other thing is if we tank there's very little chance a record short position doesn't start covering if we're down 100 points those shorts start to cover pretty quickly which would then ramp us <laughs> right back up so we're in like a almost a goldy lock scenario of if we tank there's at least support and if we rip higher on cpi there could be a massive tailwind at least early at least you know i forget the position if, if i think it was like 75,000. i was trying to pull it up i had it here for a minute Um, but we're kind of in a position of it doesn't matter based on positioning alone they're either going to have to chase and cover or cover when we're lower which will add it just, it's just supports the market so it's something to think about unless obviously we come in like scorching hot and we gap down 150 points even, see, even then there's no way they don't start covering because this position was built over the last few about the last week or so for fuck's sake <coughs> I can't find it I had it up too and then I clicked out of it by accident ah story of my pod So anyway, so if we rip, we could have a serious squeeze. And if we tank, we have support is ultimately what I'm getting at. Um, but if this VIX does break down, it re has to re all the algos have to kind of rewrite themselves on how they hedge, how far out they have to hedge. Um, like all the all the Greek numbers get all all fuzzy if it breaks which could create serious volatility which would be fantastic and I know that sounds backwards but in a short span volatility can increase with the VIX going down if they're not hedging the opposite direction and they have to cover it's not going to affect VIX very much uh, anyways, so that's what I think about the VIX. I think positioning in tomorrow is too skewed to the downside. And I don't, I have no, I'm flat again. Well, I will be flat in about 20 minutes, but I mean, I don't know what's going to happen with this CPI report. I mean, Bitcoin's at 30,000. It was at 31,000. Just sold off thousand bucks no no i got that wrong wait i'm looking at the wrong thing the vix over er, the vix it was at thirty thousand five hundred now it's at thirty thousand even that makes sense going into cpi i guess the thing about bitcoin here is obviously it's making you like two year highs but who's bu who's buying it michael saylor is he gonna own two percent of the entire bitcoin supply at some point and then what and then he's just gonna hodl it forever and then become the richest man in the world you really want <laughs> michael saylor being the richest man in the world good luck with that and then he's just gonna manipulate price forever and the whole thing that Bitcoin was trying to solve gets completely cocked by 
Michael Saylor. Anyways, it, I think it's a few entities because Americans don't really have anybody's not in crypto is not. This isn't new. New buying. This is continued buying and then increased buying. And I think it's out of all the people you don't want in it, which is China, Russia, and Iran. They've been talking about doing this. They've been secretly doing it for a long time. This recent run-up is a little extreme. Where the end is, hard to say, but I mean, if you have sanctions on those three companies, or three companies, they basically are, I guess, countries, and the U.S. dollar is all over the news that's losing its, oops, losing its, uh, its status as the 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 global currency of choice where are they going to go where are they going they're going to bitcoin because they can move bitcoin however they want they don't need the dollar they don't need any other they don't need yen they don't need anything else they can do it all with bitcoin i think that's what we're seeing uh because i there's let's see it just doesn't add up to me that it's new users. And again, if I think the top 2,500 wallets already owns four or five million Bitcoin collectively, the next like 100,000 own the next like 10, I think up to like 11 million Bitcoin are owned by less than 200,000 people or wallets. If that's truly the case, then everything Bitcoin is trying to to solve of everybody gets a piece, everybody can use it, everybody gets equal opportunity with it is completely shattered with that info. I just st I still th just think it's a speculative asset, and if it goes to 100k and you make a shit ton of money, I'm happy for you. But I think the narrative of Bitcoin being the currency of the world, just the, I think it's next to impossible. Next to impossible to distribute Bitcoin, even a fraction of one, to the, what the trillionth decimal or whatever, even if it has million dollar value. How are you going to get that to everybody? You're leaving billions of people behind by uh, by concentrating Bitcoin in the top excuse me the top you know two percent of people it, it, it basically becomes <laughs> exactly what we have now or anyways you get my point uh, so currently it's up a thou uh, and we'll see it actually I, as I was talking about it went under 30k but it's probably going to sit here for CPI and then if stocks go down it will go down and if stocks go up it'll continue going up anyways I'm going to shift gears a little bit um, Enovix my boy my baby my girl whatever you want to call it so last week just had a full on liquidation event all four days it was red culminating on Friday which held support pretty well but then yesterday had a nice big bounce right back to the 200 day moving average and then today it blew through it and now yeah, I think it touched 1404 today kind of sold a little bit lower 1383 up another 5% news came out yesterday that these guys are basically ramping up production sooner than <laughs> sooner than anybody has imp anticipated and if you're short this thing, you have a very, very small window to get out. A very small window. I think this thing probably goes 20 quicker than anybody can imagine. If it does that, if it breaks over 15, I think people are covered. 1550, 1548 is my number. But around there, if it starts breaking out, shorts are cooked on this thing. They could really launch it to 20, 21 bucks. And if it does continue getting the news that's been getting it'll blow through there too 23 
2150, 23, and then I got a long shot target at 2770. If it does this, I'm just going to applaud every bull on this one because there's a lot of noise around this company and uh, from a lot of people who don't understand that news changes everything. And in January, when they announced the shakeup of management, uh, new timeline, and then started coming out with these updates, it's crystal clear that they're now running, being run by brains and not someone who's out of his league so if they continue to deliver this thing is going to continue ripping um, I actually have a trend line I'll see if I can pull this up real quick for you oops So this is February. So after the Great Reset, that's pretty small. How's that better? After the Great Reset in January, it kind of you know rallied back up. I went over this chart before, but kind of just found a new balance, and then right around here, Feb, mid Feb, it started trending. That's when I started trending up, and then I had the blow up, the blow up move on um, the Malaysia news, and then you know rallied huge after that, and you got your profit taking. But it held the trend line like a like a Greek goddess, held beautifully and uh, bounced pretty aggressively. What buck and a half? So you know, projected out. I think. We'll see. Keep an eye on it. I think clouds flip in a couple of weeks, in two weeks, and this thing can really, really get moving. So I'll keep an eye on that one. Oh, did I not have it up? There you see it. Um, the perfect bounce off the trend line. Perfect. Anyways, it's still my number. Oh, my dogs are weird. Uh, still my number one holding. Rom is my number two. Kind of had a better day today. It needs to. Um, you know, Vix is also starting to. Yikes. Novix is also starting to get mentioned in the news more and more. So things are going to steal. They're going to continue coming out. And once it gets more and more mainstream, it'll keep on ripping. Uh, Rum had a decent day up up to 14, 914 today. I've said this, I thought it would be a bumpy road on this one, and so far it's been a very bumpy road. And I think uh, they're going to hate this stock until they can't hate it anymore. And when that day comes, we'll all be uh, pumped. But, I mean, I'm along it a little bit lower than here. But, again, expecting multiple year hold on this one. Uh I mean the growth is 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 there. It's beyond there. So they keep signing on new exclusive deals. They land one other big one like a Russell brand type. <coughs> I think uh I don't think they can ignore it much longer. But for now they're trying everything they can to suppress it so it doesn't get too big. Big tech hates this thing. Absolutely hates it. Oh, that reminds me. <laughs> a new ETF came out today. B I G T, big tech. What's in it? Apple, Amazon, Google, Meta, Microsoft. So when I say that this market is just a carousel of money moving up and down and around, just rotating around, trying to keep everything afloat. This thing is going to help uh, facilitate that. It's going to buy a ton of these shares and it's just going to sit and hold it. And it kind of has to rebalance them after every quarter. But this thing is going to be a, a pawn of 
of support for these big tech names. And, uh, you know, it's kind of gross, but what are you going to do? And if we tank tomorrow, this thing is going to be funny to watch. It'll be really funny to watch. It might become a... I don't know if they're going to have options for it. It might become a good options. It's certainly going to be a good indicator. You know, this thing's up a buck or two. I guess, yeah, it works or how it correlates with these names. It uh, just got released today, so it didn't trade. I think it starts tomorrow. Or did it start trading? and just traded like 20,000 shares. Hmm, maybe. We'll, we'll keep an eye on it. Once we figure out the correlation, it might be a great uh, indicator on support or weakness in the market. Uh, but that one's kind of funny, especially because we're at the top of the range, and then they come out with that. So we'll see. Uh, I think that'll do it for me. Crude is uh, ripping again. It's up $81. That's never helpful for anything ever, anywhere. God, I hate this market. It's so stuck right now. Pretty fascinating stuff the way they sold it off the other day. Straight off 20 points, bounces 10, and then does absolutely nothing after hours. Makes you wonder. The things that make you wonder. All right, that's it for me. Uh, I will see you tomorrow. Be careful with CPI. And let's have another good day. All right, love you all. Bye.